right, so we can cap that. We'll do, uh, let's see, let's, uh, oh, so we'll be Clover. All right, we'll hit up, uh, we'll talk about B Clover real quick. Not much that really happened, so. Um, but, <clears throat> all right. No, we had the time skip, so, I mean, shit. Uh, no, yeah, I mean, like. They gotta, they gotta power up, I assume. Right, but, I'm, I mean, I'm saying, like, like the, the chapter itself was pretty much just, like, the intro to after the time skip. It's not like we really found out too much, other than, obviously, they got stronger. But, anyway, yeah, let, let's just officially start it then real quick. Um, all right, let's do this uh, manga review of Black Clover, chapter 229, The Dawn of Hope and Despair. All right, so we're pretty much coming back after the uh, six-month time skip, and uh, so it looks like Spade Kingdom on, like, the typical anime shown in BS where, you know, people just being petty to, like, the regular peasants of their squad, sucking up their mana, doing some petty-ish. Asta can't take it, so he shows up, rolls up, and starts slapping kids. And uh, he looks like he's about to do that work. <laughs> um, I will say, I actually, I really like how he can, um, like, control his sword from, like, far away and actually command it. I think yeah. that could definitely increase, like, his range with some stuff. So if he's got, like, some moves where he can literally, like, use energy to control his sword from a distance, I feel like that could be, actually be pretty up and dope. Um, so I'm a little excited to see some stuff about that. Um, other than that, though, the biggest question is just, who's this random kid talking about you know? So uh, I, hopefully we can see, like, pretty much his power up, too, because... I mean, like, you know, we getting powers for days. So for him to get six months, he's about to be like a god. So. <laughs> was he training too? Huh? He was training too? Yeah. I mean, like, I, I would assume. I mean, okay. Well, in my, yeah. in my I, opinion, I he was in the like, you know? last chapter, like, we pretty much saw, like, uh, like right when they mentioned the time skip, we saw, like, um, a couple you know, of, yeah. of characters. And we had, like, you know, you know, have a standalone page. Uh, we saw, like, the captain of the Rose Knights. We saw Luck. We saw Charmy. Uh, in my opinion, I think, like, all of them got some decent power-ups. So, like, to, to, to see, like, Charmy's power-ups and, like, Luck's power-ups, too, like, it, it's, like, we're we about to see, like, some, like, hardcore hands. Like, I'm, I'm pretty excited, low-key. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, as far as this chapter itself, we didn't really get revealed to too much. Um, other than kind of like a status that like Spade Kingdom really is about that. I mean, like Diamond Kingdom's pretty much gone. Like Diamond Kingdom's gone. <laughs> it's literally just the Heart Kingdom and Clover Kingdom. So if anyone else was expecting like big hands to be thrown from Diamond, it's already GG. So it's mm -hmm. literally just like Spade, Heart, and Clover about to throw, uh, about to pretty much fight for like the world in, in a sense. So yeah, I um, wonder why like Spade, Spade is so strong. Like, I feel like, like it's just like it's spades, you know, spades above spades beats everything else. True, true. That like, it could definitely be working with the cards too, um, and just how like the well, I mean, considering like the spades above everything else, and you got like oh, low key. I didn't even think about it, but they could they could really be playing hardcore with it, right? So if you think about it, you know, like spades and clovers are like the two um, like black suits, right? And, like, what do they have in common but using the dark or devil powers that have pretty much been bestowed about them? Granted, Clover mm -hmm. Kingdom's only got really Asta regarding, like, the devilness. But, I mean, Spade's whole thing is about having, like, dark, cursed, or, uh, like, devil abilities. And for that to be, like, the strongest black suit and, like, the strongest suit overall, I mean, I think they definitely played that uh, pretty hardcore. So, I mean, that's, that's just a little clever little tidbit that they did. So, that's legit. Um but yeah, uh, I mean, I'm excited. I mean, the chapter itself, I don't really think was that big of a deal. But I mean, Black, Black Clover is about pretty much the plot and like uh, speeding it up de decently well so far. So I'm uh, I'm definitely still on the um, the like the uh, the manga bandwagon as far as what they're doing with the series. Like they're uh, I think they're actually getting it pretty hard. Uh, hopefully, they could just finish strong. Long story short, but. Yeah, I, I think it's been going pretty good. Like it's, um, it's especially compared to like Boku no Hero. I think it's been much better recently. So yeah, yeah I hope they just keep it up. You know. No, I completely agree. Like even them just like putting on the time skip. I mean, they got a time skip before Boku no Hero, 
And like they should have been. I, mean, like, I didn't see that like, coming at all. Like, I didn't exactly. See, I didn't see that coming at all. It was so random, <laughs> but it, like it, it kind of it worked in a way. Like if you consider if you consider even the introduction to the Heart Kingdom, and like pretty much like those two three chapters that they were actually in the Heart Kingdom, not as the start of an arc, but the ending of the Elf arc, then that actually yeah, makes exactly. like some sense. You know, like in like in the anime, that pre that's pretty much like the perfect cliffhanger in a way, uh, for the yeah. next season. So like they're I think they're handling like the storyline really smart, which is really surprising considering this is Black Clover and I haven't really been interested in the story at all, Black Clover, until recently. So I mean I give them big ups. I'm not sure if they're just like if there's like a new not a new writer per se, but maybe like a new editor or something, I wouldn't be surprised, uh, based on how the story's flown. So f around, big ups. Um, yeah, oh, that's pretty much all I have for the chapter. You uh, got any other notes? Um, oh, was it? No, did I rate it? I don't think it did. I? Hmm? Did I rate it? Oh no, no, no. Well, we didn't rate it. I was just saying, like, did you want to oh, say okay. that's before we rated it? Oh uh, no, nothing um, else to, to really add. Just I can't really tell how much of a power Baxter really got, just because I mean the the guy everybody fought was right. his trash, yeah. you know. But uh, the way he showed up was kind of, kind of reminded me of like a Dragon Ball Z kind of entrance, like you just yeah. saw him like flying through the air, and True. he just popped up, you know. But yeah, nothing else really. Actually, yeah, actually, I'm I'm just now thinking about that too. But that, that I mean that that you just mentioned a good point, right? I mean like Asta just flew. I mean I'm not sure if that was like based on. Okay, sorry, this is all just, like, coming back to me. Um, all right, do you remember the panel right next to the um, the spirit director when they were, like, pretty much just talking about, like, while Asta's flying in? Is that Zero. Asta flying on his sword, or am I tripping? You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Shit, because maybe. if he is, that's pretty dope. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's cool if he's doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, he like a sil silver surfer or something. Like for real though, like that's actually pretty up and sick. Because if he could like ride it like that and like still channel his demon energy like from his feet instead of his hands, then yeah. holy crap! Like he just opened up again like a whole new like arsenal of kind of like uh, attacks at least. So I think that's actually pretty up and sick, but. F around. All right. You give me hype. You give me hype. But uh all right, we can go to the rating real quick. I'll um damn low key. I mean it's a little tough. I'll just I'll probably just give it a decent plus. Um I'll give it a decent plus. The hype is there, uh popping. Uh definitely excited based on how the story uh is going. But I mean again, the chapter itself technically wasn't really much. It's pretty much just all the hype behind it and what it's kind of like implying slash leading to. Um, so I'll just give it a decent plus for now. But I could definitely see like even the next chapter being like a decent as hell or something. So I'm yeah. excited. Uh, I'm going to go with another decent. Um, it was it wasn't bad. It was it was OK overall. Uh, I, it would have been better, like more hype maybe if if Astad came and and like smacked some guy that we knew who was pretty strong already. Like oh, to actually see. like to preview just how strong he got. Um, sure. But overall, yeah, it was, it was okay. Hmm. All right. All right. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Um, that pretty